we are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. And this is where we're going to moor. Perfect. The next day, we helped our friends Caroline and Pete from One Day More Aboard up the Buckby Locks. So this is lock number five. We're doing quite well. Martin's walking and I'm catching a lift. <laughs> on one day more we had a lovely few days with caroline and pete we cooked for each other we had a lovely meal out and we played cards but all too quickly it was time to say goodbye bye see you later Yes, again, it's pump out time and we're also filling our water. Once we've done that, then we're going to be going up the Buckby flight and I believe we're going to have some helpers, which I'm sure you're all going to recognise. <laughs> so we're just about to leave Wilton Marina and we have got Wayne and Amanda with us from Narrowboat Spudley. And of course Nick. Nick is here too. It is a beautiful day. And as luck would have it, another boat was coming along. So we've got somebody to buddy up with as well. How cool is that? Yeah, we can't believe our luck with this weather. How beautiful is this? Look at that. Lock number one, Martin. And there's Wayne and Amanda. Wave, guys. Hello. These are quite violent locks, these ones. We've only done the ground paddles. And the next lock is all ready. The other lady's gone to get that one ready. Brilliant. Lock number two. Alright. Yay. <laughs> so I've just come up to reset this one and one of the top pad of her gates is open. But we're wondering if it's out of balance and just opened itself. So a kind lady from the other boat is going to shut it before we reset it. And I'm getting ready with my windlass to empty the lock. So this is number four, lock number four, just emptying it. And that means we've got three more to do. Uh oh, the hooters packed up. <laughs> Martin's favourite toy is not working. Wayne and Amanda are just going up to set the next lock. Basically, North Kilwell. Come in. Wow, what a lovely chat. Putting everyone to shame. 77 and single handing. Bless him. Safe journey, matey. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so 
we're getting very near to the M1 and the railway. So we're hoping to go and find a nice mooring now. It's such a beautiful day for this. We are waiting for a Tesco's delivery. We're standing out on the main road and uh, it's trying very hard to rain and it's very windy as well. So yeah, that's the joys of boating. Sometimes it's lovely, sometimes it's not so good. So what did you do on a Sunday, eh? Still in the cold doing Tesco's. <laughs> waiting for a Tesco's delivery. It's not always great fun. <laughs> So we're on our way back. Martin's got the big trolley and I've got the little trolley. Big trolley. But my one's got all the heavy stuff in. <laughs> Martin's just got the cumbersome one. <laughs> I've got all the nibbles in mine. Yeah, he's got all the goodies in his one. <laughs> so just remember, if I'm not back at the boat when you do, you know I've stopped off having lunch. <laughs> it's not far now. third boat along behind this beautiful new silver boat it's our boat nearly there drop in straight to the boat there we go there's a lovely moor in this when the sun's out we get lots of solar you get such a good don't view, we? don't you? <laughs> you can't beat a bit of home cooked soup from the stove. Lovely. Potatoes, carrots, onion, cauliflower, broccoli, peppers, and that's it. And a few spices. So we've had this mat out for hmm, a few days, but uh, Martin's having to wash it. <laughs> so we've just untied all the ropes. Martin's just getting going and I'm going to walk round to the lock and get it set. It's been beautiful here. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, lots of, lots of leaves on the path now. So we've got to be very careful at the locks. But the autumn colours are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just walking round to the lock. And this is the top lock of the Buckby fight. Flight. Fight? Flight. <laughs> Done. Thank you. <laughs> That's it, we've just topped up with water, we've emptied our rubbish and I've made us a nice cuppa and I've hung all the washing out to dry. So all in all, that's not a bad stop. We're now moving on towards Norton Junction where we're going to turn right and head towards Watford Locks. But I don't think we're going to do the locks today because we've spent too much time chatting. <laughs> but that's all part of boating. You have good intentions. We were going to have, have this done, go and do the Watford Locks and more up ready for lunchtime. But uh, we got chatting to a lovely couple that was moored near us. Um, and uh, yeah, time ticked on and we didn't leave till 10 to 12. <laughs> so we've just done that one lock. We're gonna go up to the junction. We're gonna turn right 
and then we'll go and as far as we can and more at the bottom of the Watford Locks. Yeah, made us a nice warm drink and a Kit Kat and that will see us now until we get moored up. Can't help but sing when you see boats loomed like this. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm going to spare you that. I'm not going to sing. <laughs> so here's the junction. I would imagine Martin's going to have to do the hooter. So here's your warning. Yeah, we're going to be turning right just before this big willow tree and this beautiful little cottage. I say, Martin. <coughs> I think we just woke those fishermen up. <laughs> well, there was no hoots coming back, so assuming we're clear to go. Yes, yeah, so if you go straight up that way, you go towards Braunston, but we are turning right and we are heading towards Watford Gap. So we are now entering the Leicester line of the Grand Union. Just let Martin know. All clear, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're doing some work along here. Not quite sure. Oh, they're felling trees, I think. They're doing a great job there. Getting uh, some of the overhanging yeah, branches. Very good. Bridge number three. I believe we're going to bridge, bridge number six and mooring just after that. It was supposed to be sunny today, so really sorry, it's uh, dull and overcast and it's absolutely freezing today. But hey ho. Just met these lovely people, they watch us on YouTube. Thanks, guys. It's really lovely. We're coming along here and we can hear the birds singing. It's really lovely. I mean, it's a proper wintry day today. It's really cold, um, but, uh, and there's a little bit of a wind, but all in all, it's not bad, it's dry. <laughs> so we were hoping to do the Watford Locks, like I said, but we ended up chatting. So, oh well, we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't looked at the weather, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll do the, do the locks tomorrow. And then we'll be lock free for quite a while. I think it's about 18 miles without any locks. So yeah, looking forward to that. So this here on the right is the sign for a winding hole. 
and what it's saying is it's a 17 meter limit so if your boat is longer than 17 meters you won't be able to turn can't see the winding hull so it must be the other side of the bridge I'm not sure but Martin may need to do the hooter again because I can't see through there This is bridge five and the winding hoe is just after the bridge. I'll show you what it's bloody parky today. Oof. in the water goodness me I say autumn is very pretty but uh, the leaves do cause a little bit of uh, havoc <laughs> with uh, boat prop shafts and whatever and Martin wasn't too impressed <laughs> yesterday when he got up the boat was absolutely covered in a carpet of leaves so yeah he was a busy boy yesterday and I have just spotted a kingfisher. And will he stay there? to play that back in a minute to see if I actually got the kingfisher but I think I was too zoomed in so it's probably going to be too blurry or jumpy oh and he sat there and posed bless him such beautiful little birds yeah the CRT volunteers have been along here and they've been cutting back all the overhanging boughs of trees you can see there the freshly cut wood fantastic and to think that they're all volunteers I'll tell you what take a hats off to them definitely well done guys it's such a shame that the sun is not shining because the colors of these trees are just stunning absolutely stunning It tells me to film myself sometimes. I ain't got a bloody clue what to talk about. I know we can talk about the canals, but half the time I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm not the best one on the camera. That's why Julie does it all. Um, I could turn around and say, yeah, the canals are lovely, but that's just me. I just talk a load of nonsense and um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway you can see just down there where they've obviously cut quite a few <laughs> they have been busy today we're going under the railway I believe seconds earlier and we'd have seen the train. Gosh, it's very dark in here. <laughs> Watford Gap services. I can imagine Martin has used that plenty of times when he was uh, in his lorry driving days. 
and to the right of me, that direction, is Watford Services. Remember many a time driving, used to pop into there. I'm so glad I don't do it now. Watching the lorries filling up. Sorry, I'm not going to turn the camera. My hands are too cold. I've got one in my pocket. I'm keeping them. Boom! So this is what we have in front of us here. And to think that we are literally next to the Watford Gap services on the M1 is just crazy. I mean, you've got, it's like two completely different worlds. Well, you can certainly hear the M1. Can't quite see it at the moment, but uh, yeah, we can certainly hear it, that's for sure. Wow, it's ever so loud. It's quite nice today because I keep seeing two magpies and the sayings one for sorrow, two for joy. So yeah, lovely. Well this is our last bridge of the day hopefully and now I think it's a case of um, as soon as we see a nice bit of armco, hopefully, because we don't want to go up the locks. We're going to moor up. So fingers crossed. So this is bridge number six. Just after this, we should find a mooring. Hmm. Perhaps a bit further then. <laughs> So we've come up to the locks and there doesn't appear to be any moorings so we're going to hope that they might put us up the locks let us go up and see if I can find somebody. So I've just walked to the top of Watford Locks, been given the okay, booked us in. I've now got to walk all the way back down to the bottom to start locking Martin up the flight. So yeah, here we go, Watford Locks. It's a beautiful setting here at Watford Locks. So it's such a shame that it's It's such a shame that the sun's not shining because it is beautiful here. This is where you have the red and the white paddles and you always do red before white, you'll be all right. White before red, you could wind up dead. And the reason for that is the red water takes the water from the side pound and puts it into the next lock. And the white one puts the water from the lock above into the side pound so if you were to do it the wrong way round and put the white do the white one it would drop water into the side pound which would then overflow and flood into the next lock so yeah you have to get these ones right and that's why they always have lockies on and I've got two that are following me down hopefully to help lock us up Brilliant. So here we go. Martin 
going into lock number two of seven. Beautifully done, mate. Well done. We've got two lock angels with us today. And we're apparently the last boat up, so it was really good timing. Lovely. You all right down there? <laughs> So this is the one where Martin has to come out of that lock and once his back end is clear he can then turn 90 degrees to come down and into this lock here. No pressure, Martin. Two volunteers watching and I'm filming it. Bless him. I remember the first time we came along here and Martin was dreading it. But uh, he knows what he's doing. Look at that. Um, oh, a little bump. Yes, we call that. Oh, oh. Just a little kiss. Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, we order the wind. Yes. <laughs> we, watch, we watch people come in the top and then we, just, we order a different wind at the bottom. <laughs> So Martin's in the bottom of the staircase lock and there's number two and then you've got three and four up there. And they're very very deep these locks, very deep. more luck to do but it is cold it's very cold so looking forward to getting more yes. moored up and get that reflex on <laughs> last lock martin yes last one for a long time Watford flight is done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll give you permission now to go and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> now, thanks again, gents. No worries. All right. All the best. That's it, all done. Right, so here we go. What's the flight done? We're now in search of a mooring. Wow.
that's not been a bad day in the end so we did that first double lock the last of the Buckby flight got some washing on filled up with water take my washing out inside and now we've conquered the Watford flight and now for, to find a mooring lovely rather be definitely <laughs> it's a lot quieter down here and slower well that's the uh what for light flight done i think julie's done most of the filming on that one i'll just just a tech flu in front of my face i'm sure it was uh, yeah what for flight's done now i think we're just going to get up a little bit further around about bridge seven maybe eight and hopefully we'll um it. we can walk a couple of days we originally were going to get to the bottom of the locks which meant we would have had another start in the morning get up the locks but now we can just uh yeah we can relax a little bit more now so we'll just get up here a little bit further and more up so we're now looking for a mooring and we know there are some just a little bit further up here just a little bit away from the M1. <laughs> growing up them. Wow. Look at these beautiful colours. Yeah. 